Hey everyone, my name is Marco and back once again from my color screen. If you'd like to recreate a truly good looking Android home screen, just like Impulse Elegant Slide like you see over here, then let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so Elegant Slide by Impul is a fantastic display of what the true capabilities of Lightning Launcher are, which is to create a very minimal screen with such great functionality. If we have a look from just pressing back here, we can see it's just got a clock here with our little app drawer here. If we tap it, it'll bring up our app drawer easy and simple like that. And it's also got hotspots, say, for your clock or whatever else you would like to set. If you scroll across like this, as you can see, this clock stays here. But now we display our, some of our useful information such as battery percentage as well as some other notifications such as calls, messages and emails. Moving to the right hand side you've got all your other quick shortcuts say for your messages, your email, your camera just by tapping it it'll bring up whatever app you want. And if we scroll to the top we've got our music information here so just by tapping that we'll start playing our music really quick and simple and if we don't have it anymore just slide to the bottom great and then finishing off this brilliant looking home screen will bring us into our lock screen so if we lock it and unlock it now it looks fantastic it's got the clock here when tapped it'll bring up your quick notifications that you can tap away or bring back at will as well as this little minimal lock screen here or lock icon here that when tapped will unlock your phone also take note that this is a two-part video just so it's not so long and even if you'd like to go to the lock screen you can just go to it and you don't have to watch the whole home screen video if you'd like to recreate this home screen tutorial remember it'll be on lightning launcher so don't be afraid as I'll be making it as simple as possible for you to recreate so let us begin with today's home screen tutorial okay so today I'll be starting with a completely stock lightning launcher as you can see I've just cleared all my data so we will be starting from scratch just gonna select OK now and before you begin make sure that you've got all the files copied onto your phone especially that lightning launcher backup and the place where you want to paste this backup is in the lightning launcher folder here that you see in your SD card or just your main SD card area. So as you can see here are all my different backups but your most important one or the one that you'll be needing to copy is the 07021 over here. So make sure that you've copied it into this backup folder here or just the main folder of lightning launcher just so that when you restore it this is where it'll be so that's pretty much it make sure that you've also copied all the other necessary files onto your phone as well so that we can move on to the next step which is restoring all your data great so with lightning launcher it's very easy to restore your data the first thing you want to do is hold down on your home screen select customize lightning scroll all the way down your settings into this button here called restore this will bring up all your different restore files that you've used you can see I've got quite a few here and you remember you want to look for that one called well the one that ends in 0702 this one over here so I'm gonna select that one it's gonna restore it for you and it'll take about a few seconds whereby it will probably hopefully change your wallpaper as well as we can see here it's just changed my wallpaper so that's very good and all however if it doesn't set up your wallpaper for some reason you're welcome to change it by holding down on the home screen going into customize lightning going into your current screen then going into your wallpaper and background and selecting your change the system background whereby you can just change your system wallpaper to the one that's been provided in the description below so that's your wallpaper set up and hopefully all your settings that have been restored so next we can be moving on to the next step which will be customizing your uccw widgets Great, so in order to customize these widgets, we will be first taking a look at the one that's on your main screen. This will be the one that you'll be restoring for your clock. So in order to do that, we first want to unpin it. And to do that, or to get it to your edit layout, you want to hold down on your home screen. You want to select edit layout now, as this will be put it into like a grid view where you can edit all your different widgets as such. So you want to hold down on this main widget here. You want to select position now. And you want to select unpin this will allow you to move it around at will but when moving from different home screens it will stay in its necessary area and not follow you around which isn't too healthy so the next thing you want to do is hold down on it again and say select another widget as from now you'll be restoring your uccw widget from here so in order to do that you want to scroll to UCCW you can choose any size but let's see let's go for 4x2 just to make things easier from here you want to select use up at the top 
and then go into your elegant slide folder, the one that you've hopefully copied onto your phone, where you'll be presented with all your different use zips. So we'll be selecting the slide clock use zip, whereby it'll then import it for you. And what you want to do in, it, in order to get it to work is to tap back as this will get out of the edit layout menu, whereby you can just tap the hand and it'll hopefully bring up the clock like this. So we just make, you can make it bigger or smaller now. In order to do that, you just want to hold down on your any free space you have available, select edit layout, hold down on the skin or just tap it and you can use these adjusters like that. Make it, let's make it all the way like this. So that's pretty cool. You can move it in the position that you want. Remember, because it's unpinned. And if you select back now, it should get something that's go back into a main screen. This is what it should look like. So that's that one set up. We want to be doing exactly the same setup for the rest of the UCCWs, which will be the search at the bottom, the notifications on the left hand side here, as well as the weather that we see on this side over here as well. So we're going to just, I'm just going to do it once more again with the search widget. So we want to hold down on it or well, hold into a free space again, select edit layout, tap the image. You want to hold down on it and select another widget. This will bring up your this whole widget list here and you want to go to a UCCW. Let's go for far by two just to make things interesting. So from here you want to select your use up once again. And like I said, you want to go for that search dot use up as that's the search skin, I guess you could call it. You want to select back. Let's just tap it and see what it looks like. Let's make it a bit higher up and a bit wider. So whether that's personal preference but you can just select it and because it's not pinned it'll stay there well it won't follow you so let's bring it up a little just like that so you can customize these at your will and it's very easy to do like I've just done there so like I said we're going to be doing it for this one as well as well as your weather one on the side so that is both of them set up as you can see we're still going to be setting up our gmail account and if you notice that if you have any problems with your where the skin will be sorting it out right now so if it's not displaying properly so you want to go into your applications which is this little arrow over here it is your app draw remember that and you want to select your uccw just remember if you haven't you just need to do this if you haven't set up your or turned your lock widgets off so you want to select off now it'll now disable your hotspots mode as well as if you're having problems with your weather you want to go into your menu you want to go into your settings you want to go into your weather provider and you want to change it accordingly just to see which one works and it should hopefully fix that that ctcc always popping up so just a little helpful reminder there so next we've disabled our lock widgets let's just go into our uccw app here and we'll edit her. from here we want to um, select our emails well change the email account so we want to select background now which will bring out our bring up our select object list from here you want to select your gmail one object over here slide across all the way Two controls number five from here you want to select your account and from here you want to once you've selected that you want to select your label let's go for inbox always looks good so we're just gonna go back now let's see if that how that looks and it looks pretty pretty cool so remember if you would want to move an object say like this app draw here is not really in line I think it's because it's my Nexus 4 over here so you want to hold down on a blank space you want to select edit layout and let's bring it up a little and might just have to resize it slightly so that looks much much better let's see everything looks good so now we just need to add in the music widget at the top great so in order to set this music widget remember you just want to hold down on your home screen select edit layout hold down on the widget say select another widget whereby we'll be going to that awesome looking widget there called now playing so we're just going to scroll down there it is over here now you want to select the, the second one as this is the one that'll be transparent let's just see let's go back slide up let's see if it works yeah it looks pretty good i really enjoy this setup so as you can see that's pretty much that done the only thing you'd be left to do now is that to set your hotspots these if you want to tap it and open up a hotspots such as your clock or whatever so if you're a bit too clueless on uccw and hotspots then you're welcome to check the link below for our ucc three-part tutorial or if you want you can just go select object from your list here go into your hotspots and then select hotspot whereby you can change it to whatever you want so if you want to select app and you want to make it something like your clock then you're welcome to just select select your clock 
And once you've done this to each one of your UCCWs, just to go into your menu here, and you want to go lock widgets and then say own. It's going to enable your hotspots. So now when you tap a, on a UCCW skin, it'll bring up your preferred apps that, that you have set for them. So finally, one more thing to do, almost forgot, is that these icons on the side here to open up your various applications that you would want. So some things have been set to stock, so say for your camera, it opens up my stock camera, as well as for my messages, emails, and calendar, well, and phone here. So if say something like this, I tap it and it doesn't, it gives me an error saying that it doesn't have it. This is probably a Samsung browser or something like that, one that I do not have. I want to use Chrome. So if you'd like to set an alternative shortcut, you'd want to hold down on the, on, on, yeah, sorry, on a blank space. So let's go over here, edit layout. This will allow you to hold down on the icon, say pick app to launch, whereby you can choose any app that you would want. So let's say you'd want to go for, for Chrome. And there we have Chrome over there. I'm just going to select it. So now if we go back and tap it up, it's going to bring up Chrome. How cool is that? So I really enjoy that fun functionality. And as always, if you'd like to have a different icon, check in the description below for a link to all the different icons. And if you'd like to recreate or just add an icon, you just hold down on the home screen, select add, select application, so then you can choose anything you want. Say if I want to add in a drive shortcut over here, then I just need to hold down on it again. You want to select customize. You want to select more. That's right, more because now we want to disable the label. If we're in the uh, texture, you want to disable the label. Don't want the label. You want to go into your icon now. You want to select an icon. From here, you want to either go into your ADW icon pack if you've downloaded the theme from the Play Store or the icon pack that's in the link below. Or you can just go into your gallery if you've downloaded the zip, you just go into your gallery or whatever, and then you can select them accordingly. So they look similar to these, they look very minimal, very white, and I highly, highly enjoy them. And remember, if you want to remove an icon, you just need to hold down on it and select remove, and it'll now disappear just like that. So just remember, just going back, we'll set it up like that for you. One more thing to do, we're almost done guys, is to hold down on your widgets. So or hold down on the blank screen, you want to make this pinned again now. You want to select edit layout, hold down on this time here, select position and select pin. Why do you want to pin it now? Well, sliding across brings it up like that. Sliding up that way brings it up like that, all while that remains there. Brilliant looking home screen. So this concludes the home screen tutorial for this elegant slide. If you'd like to recreate the lock screen, let's just see if we lock it and unlock it. It's got this brilliant minimal design that when tapping your clock now will bring up your important information just by tapping away. It looks fantastic. I highly, highly enjoy this. So if you'd like to recreate it, well then click on the link over here as it'll take us to the lock screen tutorial. So thank you very much guys for watching this home screen tutorial. If you haven't liked, subscribed or comment, please do as well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus or Twitter communities as well as our blog. So thank you very much guys for watching. Marco here from My Color Screen and as always, don't stop customizing.